Hey guys, I'm Steven, a salon guy, and welcome to Total Request Hair. Lately, I've been getting some requests for the new Jennifer Lawrence haircut, as the new Catching Fire Hunger Games movie has just been released. And she's sporting a new, kind of short pixie. Uh, we've seen this on a lot of celebrities, but I'm going to show you guys how to achieve the new Jennifer Lawrence haircut. Let's get started. What I've done now is I've sectioned a section right in the front here, kind of like a triangle, just to kind of block this and clip this out of the way here. And I'm actually going to start on the side. Uh, I just want to tackle this side first because, um, you know, around the ear it's a little bit shorter, but then towards the front of the hairline it gets a little bit longer. So I just felt like tackling this the front first. Um, so I'm just coming in basically right parallel here with the ear on the side. And <clears throat> I'm going to basically be combing it straight out from the head. And I'm just going to keep my fingers in pretty tight throughout the ear. And then I'm just going to cut up. And now I'm just going to bring this straight out and let the natural head shape form itself. So I just kind of bring it a little bit closer here and straight out from the head this way. All right. And what's going to happen is going to leave a little bit of length around here, but then we can go back in and get rid of that uh, extra length around the ear, which is basically cleaning it up. So I'm just going to continue this section here, pick up my guide from right underneath and there it is. Now as we get to the front it's going to be a little bit longer around here so I'm just going to a little, a little over direction towards the center I'm not gonna I'm not gonna over direct it forward this way. I'm just going to kind of push this back a little bit more. Just so I can leave a little bit of length around the front here. Now I just want to come around here and just cut, chip around the ear. And I'll just do this you know, piece by piece. Just bringing out a little bit of hair here. Holding that other part out of the way and just kind of notch into, you know, into where it's a little bit longer, right in through here. So there we have this part done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, uh, and then we're going to work into the back and leave this top for last. Now this would be so awesome if I was rocking like a 1981 like mullet hairstyle, but I'm I'm not unfortunately. So <laughs> I've got these both sides complete now, and as you can see, this really just kind of I took this around the ear again, just kind of pushed his hair out of the way and just chipped around the ear and then worked it into this. I'm leaving this a little bit longer in here because her front's a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to come back here and then leave this for last. Connect everything together. Um, but this is definitely be the last part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this whole back here. And the back is going to be a pretty standard procedure. Uh, everything's going to be pulled out 90 degrees from the head. Um, you know, I'll do some texturizing. Uh, but this is pretty, pretty standard uh, basic haircut um, throughout the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the back and then just basically um, pick up from in the middle here. And I'll be able to pretty much match just by my eye um, in through here. If you are more of a beginner and you need to, what you can do is you can pick up uh, from where you where you see the guide in the sides here and then work around the head that way uh, if you want. And then you can just take that, work it down into the sides. That's one way to do it if you really need help with, with the guide. Um, or you can start in the back here and visually kind of map it out by saying, okay, well this is about, I don't know, an inch and a half uh, from the head, inch and a half, maybe two inches the most and then kind of gauge it this way as well. So I'm going to start in the back and then uh, we'll meet on the both of the sides here. I'm going to pull everything straight out from the head. As I mentioned before, about inch and a half, maybe two inches. It looks like her nape, like most, is a little bit shorter down to the bottom here, which is totally normal. But pretty much everything is, is straight out from the head. And what I'm going to do is just continue this working throughout the nape uh, and just creating a nice, shorter, textured um, 
pretty standard haircut throughout the back here, pretty standard shape. Um, and then a lot of the work actually is done when the hair is, is drying. That's when a lot of the texturizing comes in. Um, and that's when a lot of the shape starts to kind of come into play here. So what I'm gonna to continue to do is just work throughout the whole back of the head. As you can see here, I switched cutting palm to palm, which gives you pretty good control when you're working on the other side. Just keeps your body in a good position. I'm using the wide teeth just because I don't mind having a little more of a you know softer look throughout the back. The wide teeth does provide a little more of a softer look. Um, you know, with the fine teeth, everything is really, really uh, taut, and as you can see when you pull it. And then the fine teeth, the wide teeth, just gives a little more separation, and uh, you know, so when you're cutting, it's a little more of a softer shape to it. So I'm literally going to go throughout the whole back of the head, and I'm going to stop in through here, and then we'll check to see how well balanced we are. Now I've come to the part where I'm going to match up the sides and the back, and let's see how close, actually pretty much right on as far as the length goes. See it all work itself in here, and now we're just going to clean up around through the edges down here. So now that this is complete, um, I still have to go back in and uh, cross check everything. I need to kind of continue to work everything in, finish blending it. Um, this, I just kind of brought this in uh, just because we got to this point. So I still want to bring this a little bit tighter in through here, connect this. Now also throughout the top, this is where we left um, this out. But like always, um, you know, this is create, gonna create a weight line in through here because we haven't gotten to this point yet. And like you see me do all the time, when you round this out, this part, you cut this part off, that is when everything works in. So this is the weight right here, okay? So we still have to cut this because it's laying on top of this and work it in through this part in through here. The back is all done now and the best thing to do after you complete it is really you got to cross check everything and the way I cross check is I actually go on a diagonal and I basically hold everything out kind of like on a diagonal uh, section. Uh, you can do it horizontally as well. I like to do everything a little more diagonal just just changes it up a little and I don't know just for me it shows it shows more what needs to be cut when you kind of go over this way. You can even stand on top. Uh, over the over the section as so and that helps as well but you really want to do this especially on a shorter hair to really make sure everything is blended in nicely everything has a really good flow together uh, especially with these you know these shorter haircuts because they do show everything so <clears throat> I what I did previously just before we finished I did go and cross check but being that the Virgo I am a, I'm a perfectionist <laughs> so everything has to be pretty much perfect what I'm going to do after the hair is starting to dry, I'm going to go back in and do some scissor over comb, and then I'm going to texturize, which I love to do when the hair is dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, take out this, this whole section right here, and here is the money piece. This is what's going to really uh, have everything come together and really showcase this uh, Jennifer Lawrence haircut. So we've got, we've got this to work into this. And we've got these corners as well. And it seems that she kind of wears it over uh, both sides. And this, this whole front is almost like, kind of like, almost like a disconnected piece. Um, and this, this kind of works into itself here. So we have to work kind of a triangle into the front and also a triangular section uh, and, and cutting from here this, this part right here into this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from this point and we're gonna angle this shorter to longer towards the front. Okay, so we've got this right here to work into this. So let's do this in, in sections so that we can keep a good control. Now with this, your left or right elbow, depending on if you're righty lefty, this will basically 
prov predict and, and map out the end result. So if you have your left arm parallel, it's going to be straight. If you're going to go this way, you're going to create graduation and build weight. And this way, when you look, put your arm, your elbow up to the sky, that is what creates the shorter to longer look and the shorter to longer layer, which creates and keeps the length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the whole top here and cut shorter to longer, which is going to maintain the length in the front, but it's also going to layer the top. And this is how we're going to keep the length in the very, very front, but also remove the weight and give it and give that textured look on the on the uh, back of the head and on the top. So I'm going to continue this throughout the whole top of the head. And then what's going to happen as we work towards the front, you're going to see, and if you need to split this up as many times as you need to, go ahead. It's better to take sections where you can see your work and it's neat and it's not really messy. <clears throat> as you can see, here's the progression going shorter to longer. And we're just going to keep following that. So what we'll do is continue this throughout the whole top of the head and then we'll come back and then we'll work on the very, very front. So this is the end result of cutting shorter to longer. Uh, as you can see here, it created a shorter look on top. And then now we've got this, like as I mentioned, it's going to create a triangular piece, a triangular section in the front here. Now her hair basically came to around here, I believe, from what it looks like in the picture. So you want to still make sure that you keep this triangular section here. But what I want to do is I want to actually start right in the front here. And I want to cut this to about right here with a razor. I just want to create a, a softer edge in the front. And then what I'm going to do is just simply angle everything down to that one point. creating this shape in through here, as you can see. And then it goes over both sides as well. Now we're not done. We still have a lot of work to go. Uh, and this, that's where the texturizing comes in, and which is my favorite part, simply because um, that is what creates the, you know, the, real, the real shape. That's what really enhances everything. It gives it the texture, you know. So what I'm just going to do now is just kind of softly blend in these corners right here with the length in through here, just so it has a little bit of a softer uh, connection like that. See, now it's got a better flow, and when you brush it over, it kind of all sweeps into one side. And the same thing on this way. So what I'm actually going to do is I want to dry it. And then I want to go back in here, texturize it, and create a little more shape uh, throughout the top. So when I dry this, I'm going to be using the 413 Sculpting Brush by Paul Mitchell and the Express Ion Dry version 2 blow dryer. All right, I think it's looking pretty fantastic already. Now is the time which I love the most, which is the texturizing and uh, creating that softness on top. So. What I'm going to do is using my shear, I'm just going to start to slide cut in through everything and just kind of rake my fingers in through and then lift it up, come from underneath, use just a thumb and slide into the hair with the shear. And what that's going to do is just going to eliminate some of that weight. It's going to soften everything up uh, and it's really going to give it uh, a nice some, some more movement, some really nice movement, which I, I love doing this technique. I think this is great for dry uh, cutting, um, which as, as you can see, this is, this is creating more texture throughout the top here, some more separation. Uh, now, depending on, on you, you know, you could take this even shorter if you wanted to. Uh, on the top, it's really up to you. This is just a variation uh, of the haircut. 
Um, I think she's growing it a little bit already. You know, these celebrities, they cut it short and within, you know, three weeks it looks long already and then they, they start to grow it for whatever other reason. Uh, so as you can see, really what I'm doing is I'm going by feel and then using the shear just to kind of remove what I want. So it's literally just kind of getting in there, grabbing the hair and using the shear just to kind of remove it. It's like removing any sort of excess weight. Okay, and it also at the same time gives you a more textured look which allows uh, for more movement throughout the hair and also softens the whole thing up. So I'm done with using the shear on this. Now I'm gonna go in uh, and I'm gonna get a thinning shear. All right, here's the thinning shear. Now this mannequin still has a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. And um, depending on your clients, look at this. Depending on your clients, uh, you know, I don't know how much, you'll know how much hair they, that needs to re be removed. So I'm just literally taking chunks and really just going in there and, and removing the excess weight. Just because I want that texture, I want that pieciness, uh, I want that movement. Because, you know, this is the kind of haircut that if you want to wear it messy, you can wear it messy and it'll still look really good. So as you can see, it's, it is removing the weight. Uh, it is starting to, to lay a little bit softer, a little bit smoother. Uh, and this is my favorite technique, especially on dry hair. So I'm just going to continue this throughout the head, the top of the head here, a little bit on the sides, uh, and then we'll almost be done. So I think this came out gorgeous. Um, this really, I think, uh, is a pretty close version. Uh, you can even see she has it tucked behind the ear um, on, on some of her looks. She's got it a little bit uh, tucked this way. I'm just going to turn this a little bit here uh, behind the ear. That's what I left that length in there for in the front. Uh, and she's got it, you know, kind of going over this way uh, as well as she's even got it you know I've seen it in pictures where she's got it going over the other way as well and she even has this whole uh, this this tuck behind the ear which I think is really really cool and the fact that I'm actually tucking hair behind a non-human hair is kind of freaky uh, but it still works pretty cool um, so I think this really really is a great look uh, I think it's definitely something that more of the pixie cut that a lot of you know, you don't have to be a celebrity to wear this, you know. You just got to have the right face shape. You got to feel confident. You know, I really want to do it uh, and have some fun with it. So I think this looks gorgeous. As you can see, there's no product whatsoever in it. No product. Um, and, you know, just kind of, you can mess the back up a little bit, make it PC. Uh, however, however you want to style it is really up to you. Um, but really, overall... I think this is a great look. Well guys, there you have it, my Jennifer Lawrence inspired haircut. I think it looks great, especially being on a mannequin. Mannequins don't always react the same way as it would with human hair, but I seem to have some great luck with mannequins. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I can't do this without you guys. I wouldn't continue to make videos if it wasn't for all your support. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Twitter, at The Salon Guy, Instagram, The Salon Guy, Facebook, The Salon Guy. Uh, everything is basically The Salon Guy. Have a great, great Thanksgiving. Uh, I'll see you guys maybe before then, maybe after then. Uh, but just thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you guys soon.